Hello, I'm Lorraine Martin, President and CEO of the National Safety Council. I am grateful for the opportunity to share this message with you in honor of World Mental Health Day coming up on October 10th. The National Safety Council is America's leading nonprofit safety advocate. We are proud to have your organization as a member as we work to eliminate leading causes of preventable death and injury so people can live their fullest lives. We focus our efforts where we can make the biggest impact, in the workplace, on the roadways, and on issues concerning impairment. When we talk about impairment, this includes anything that hampers our ability to function safely. Unfortunately, both substance use and mental health distress can impair. We cannot help but recognize that the current pandemic has created unprecedented challenges, not just for our physical health, but for our mental health as well. We know that employee mental health has safety implications. Addressing employee mental health concerns is a critical pillar of our safer effort to help employees return to traditional workplaces. When people don't feel safe at work, when they aren't able to fully be present, they cannot be safe. The upheaval due to COVID for the last six months has been overwhelming. What we initially anticipated to perhaps be a sprint has turned into a marathon. In addition to COVID, many are dealing with uncertainty around our work lives, our families, childcare, finances, as well as the political and social and racial inequities. When people go to work, they cannot always leave these stressors behind. Opioid overdoses have been increasing at an alarming rate throughout the pandemic, with most states experiencing a spike in overdose deaths. Many people are experiencing grief and trauma, which have long lasting impacts. This is happening while the capacity of treatment and recovery systems have been reduced because of the strain on our support systems. Over 40% of adults are currently struggling with mental health or substance use. Racial and ethnic minorities, young adults, frontline workers, unpaid caregivers, all people in your workplace, they may be the most at risk. It's hard to bring your best self to work with these challenges and creating a workplace culture that openly acknowledges these risks, reduce stigma and supports employees is so important. The pandemic will continue to impact mental health across the country for months and perhaps years to come. The workplace can significantly impact employees' mental health and it can also be a place of great care and support. To truly prioritize and address mental health in the workplace will take all of us and all of you. Employers, health and safety professionals, as well as frontline employees, all have a critical role to play. Communicate. There is no such thing as over communication during this time. Lead by example and model good behavior. Encourage time off use and other employee behaviors that support well being. Take advantage of training on mental health offered by your organization. Share and facilitate access to resources and support and recognize warning signs and symptoms so that you can know how and when to act. Reduce stress when possible, setting realistic deadlines, allowing an encouraging flexible schedule. Remember, you're an employee as well. You cannot take care of others without taking care of yourself. Take advantage of company resources, EAP, wellness activities. Stay connected and informed, but disconnect when you need to. Practice self-care and set routines that work for you and help you recharge. Most importantly, reach out for support when you need it. Together, we can take care of one another and we can get through this crisis. I know that working together, we can create impact and help those around us live their fullest lives. Thank you. Thank you.